I'm back. It's Titanic F. Jack. Back with another video for y'all today. Uh, today was release day on these bad boys here. But before we get into today's shoe, I'd like to send a shout out to the TM gang. The old subscribers as well as the new ones. If you haven't subscribed yet, go on and hit that subscribe button. You know, rock with the TF gang. Y'all see how we do it here. It's one big happy family. Appreciate everybody equally. Getting into today's shoe. You see the box. This is a different box. It looks pretty good. White box. You got this George Jump Man right here. That's Reed with the half right here. Quality inspired by the greatest player ever. Sounds familiar. Let's go ahead and read the label. See, it's Air Jordan 12 Retro. Color, Stone Blue, Legend Blue. Size 11. Price 190 US dollars. See, it's Jordan right here. It's a different box for a Retro 12. I believe this is the first of its kind because normally the Retro 12s will come in at the regular Jordan box, the, uh, the orange, brown, and black. But let's go ahead and pop the top on this. Yeah, the standard white paper. And ooh, woo, look what we got here. The Indigo 12s or the Obsidian 12s. Whichever nickname you want to tag these, but it's a pretty good looking shoe. Look at these bad boys here. Comment below. Let me know what y'all think of these. Let me get the other one out of the box, and we're going to get into today's review. Here we go, guys. We have the Air Jordan Retro 12 Indigo. Oh, uh, this is a clean shoe. Uh, Now, the story behind the shoe is that the blue part, the storm blue part, over time, this is going to rub off. The million-dollar question is, what does it look like once the paint or the color rubs off. No one seems to know the answer to this, so I guess someone's gonna have to wear these to find this out. But describing the upper of the sneaker, you have that stone blue. And I don't wanna rub on it too hard because this is not my personal pair. This is for a customer. But you can see this blue and it feels like it's it's leather, but you can feel it, it's paint over it. And this is leather. You got some white leather. It's not that tumbled. Your midsole is white. And as you can see, Jumpman right here, all white lettering. You have that blue right here on the midsole as well. Looking at your outsole. You have that stone blue heel and toe action. You got the carbon fiber with the white outsole. And you have that blue Jordan Jump Man with the 23 right here to cap it off. Looking at the heel of the sneaker, you got the 23 in stone blue colorway. And you got the Jordan background in the legend blue, the white lettering. And you have that message like you always have on the Retro 12. Y'all can read that. Quietly inspired by the greatest player ever. Looking on the inside of the sneaker. More of that, that stone blue. It looks good. They came out good, but I'm so curious to see what this looks like on the uh, once the paint rubs off. But that's on your upper. You got the white leather right here. It's not tumbled. You got your white midsole going on here. Looking at the toe of the sneaker. Get a closer look. Yes, you can see you got the uh, Legend Blue stitching all over the shoe. As you can see, it's Legend Blue. You have the Legend Blue laces. Also, you have two three stitched on and the Jordan Jumpman stitched on in that legend blue colorway going up the tongue. Comes with one pair of laces, these uh rope laces, the legend blue rope laces, and you have the chrome or the silver eyelids to the top with the Jordan Jumpman logo on each side. 
looking on the inside the sneaker let's go ahead and get that shoe tree out give y'all a good look on the inside and i'm noticing there's two different materials on this tongue okay look at the cardboard shoe tree say it's size 11 11 and a half sit there here get back to this tongue notice on the side there's some mesh material it's not all just leather it's some mesh material and it looks like it is on each side of the tongue you got some mesh material see that mesh right there if you can see it and there you go could get a good look at it this is my first time seeing this on a retro 12. yep and looking at the inside of the sneaker we have that stone blue insert with the legend blue jordan jump man you have that size and sticker inside. You have a legend blue sock liner or stone blue sock liner, I should say. And let's look on the back of the sizing tag. You have US size 11. Production date is February 5th through May 28th of this year. So had a few months of produce, pro I'm sorry, producing these, excuse me. Oh, uh, it's a clean shoe. I did not attempt to get a pair for my personal pleasure. I was very hesitant because I'm very curious to see how this is going to turn out once the paint rubs off. Comment below, did you guys get this sneak or do y'all think I'm sleeping on it? Uh, I'm going to put this back on the table. going to give y'all that 360 view that I do on this channel. And we're going to come back to you and wrap up the video. sneakers let me know what you think of the video leave that in the comment section as always put that hashtag tf gang in front of your comments uh i mean these were sitting because i've had friends hit me up saying hey we still got sizes at the store you know anybody need them come through and i couldn't even find anyone that needed the shoes so they're out there I think this may be a sneaker that a lot of sneaker heads will regret not buying when they had the chance to get them for retail. I think these may go up in value. I may be wrong, just my personal opinion. But uh, again, smash that like button, like the videos. It's free for you to like the video. Well, you leave a comment, let me know what city you repping. Did you cop the sneakers? Let me know in the comments. Did you cop these sneakers? I'd like to thank you guys for watching the video. Titanic Feet Jack signing out.